Well, I got kind of a personal reason why I think they should attend. And that is because the things that you guys represent now, um, you represent a, a, an understanding and a language that I believe is the key ingredients for us to move our profession into the next genre of its influence in healthcare. And, and what I mean by that is, and again, you and I talk about this, but, but this conversation that we know about, you know, it's, it's beyond the, the pain and, and it's in, and it's understanding the, the, the brain and no matter what technique you do, right? Like this is, you study techniques, you realize, man, all I know is, and this is a question I've always, you go into these offices and they all do different techniques, but on their wall are, are, are similar, you know, if, if not perfect, you know, exact testimonies of the same things, right? You did allergies and migraines and diabetes and heart problems and blood pressure and pain and neck pain and, you know, fibromyalgia. And you have to ask yourself the question, there must be a common denominator in all these techniques, right? Because they're all, you know, some are compl- vastly different approaches. And what we have found is we've never known more than we do right now about why that is true and accurate. And what that gives us is a unique ability to communicate our message and defend our message. And throughout the history of time, 122 plus years now, or 121, almost 122 years, is, is we've had to defend our message. And now, not only can we defend it, but that's, we, I think we move beyond that conversation. Now it's, we just need to get this message to as many people as possible, and we can have a, a boldness and somewhat of a disruptive um, you know, voice because we can back it up. And so you guys have been talking about that for, for you know, a long time now. And, and, and honestly, you guys validate. When I say you guys, you know, like I say, you know, you in the match circle and, and Dr. Bob, you, you know, how you and I relate and, and you validate a lot of things the way I think about things. Right. And um, so I just, I, I just, I'm excited for anybody this guy. And I just think that everybody, and here's another, you know, little testimony, you know, another co, you know, friend of ours, their colleague of ours, you know, leader in the profession, Dr. John Minardi. I remember when he, he speaks virtually on every stage, he's been to every seminar, speaks at them all. And, and, and is every on the, you know, he travels more than I do. Like he's traveling every weekend. His, his comment after super conference last year that he spoke was one that kind of blew me away. He's like, this is an event that, you know, I'm at a lot of events, but this one was very uniquely right up our alley, you know, and, and he was speaking that to me and I also heard him say that on, on a podcast to somebody else. And so that just speaks volumes to me, the type of um, seminar that it is when I, when, when testimonies from a guy of that caliber will say that about it. And so I've got no question in my mind that obviously this will be, you know, this year will probably surpass that of last year. And so I'm excited just to take it in. And, and um, I think that, you know, anybody that's looking to change a conversation, maybe you've grown weary, maybe you've gone a little bit like, you know what, I want that passion back, but I don't want it just to be, you know, the rah-rah that I used to get, which again, I'm all for that. I, I think there's value in that. I think changing our straight state is so important on a consistent basis because that was delivers results. But at the same time is a sustained level state, it, it comes that there's got to be a breath, a breath of a, a depth of knowledge and understanding of why. And, um, and so with all this, I think will answer all those questions. So, so again, it's a unique event that, uh, you know, not many other people are, are having this conversation and really having a seminar directly designed to change the conversation, which again, our profession so uh, to me desperate need. I also love working with chiropractors because they understand about cause and effect, right? And, and you know, everybody is usually hacking away at the leaves, whereas chiropractors really understand about the roots of the problem and to fix the causes. So my work, as you mentioned, you know, with the power habits and uh, what I'm going to be teaching at Super Conference, which is called Money Mindset Mastery, really deals with the causal level. What's causing people to have, as you mentioned, that head trash, and then, of course, to get rid of it. So my real uh, focus is helping people to understand the causes of why they're stuck and then really getting rid of those causes so they can really start to not just make more money, but help a lot more people, a lot more patients, grow their practice, whatever it is they want to do. What gets me really excited about this year is I think you hit the nail on the head with your statement, meaning you know, you've really pulled together a, a really, I'm just privileged again to be involved and a really elite level of speaker that not only I think is gonna really motivate people, which gets me excited, but also really deliver the goods that they can bring into their practice. So there's not only some of that inspiration and some of that uh, you know, education and motivation, but there's also some of that real meat and potatoes behind the scenes, because as you know, 
the breadth and depth of chiropractic research supporting what we do has never been better. And we didn't have that 30 years ago, 40 years ago, but today we do. And the amount that comes out is difficult to keep up with. So my, my task, my job, and my excitement is to be able to speak with a whole bunch of other fantastic individuals and really try to enlighten, educate, and inspire all of the docs that attend on, hey, here is the breadth and depth of what's out there that supports what you already do. Now imagine if you can start transferring that education, that inspiration, and that uh, that excitement to your patients, to other healthcare providers. Now you really start to cement yourself with your local community. I think uh, you guys are really ahead of the game in, in many respects when it comes to the brain-based care, which is what we, what the research is showing us quite clearly that we do. And I think that, um, you know, if you're a chiropractor and you don't know about this, you know, you really must, you must learn. You have to come along to something somewhere where you can get this information because it is our future. All the research is quite clearly showing, and I'm not talking about one study or two studies, and I'm not talking about case studies. I'm talking about study upon study upon study upon study is showing us that when we check and adjust the spine, we're changing the way the brain perceives what's going on in and around your body. So I'm really going to, again, cover this material, cover the updates, cover the latest stuff, but also make it really simple and easy for chiropractors in practice. You know, you don't have to be a neuroscientist <laughs> in practice. You have to be a really good chiropractor. But it's also absolutely imperative that you understand the effects of your care and that you can explain this to people and not just your, your patients, but also to other healthcare professionals. You know, we, we are so far beyond the bone squashing on a, a nerve uh, type theory. Uh, you know, if you're still talking about that, then, you know, you should get your butt to this conference because <laughs> you, you need a new you need a new strategy of communication. And that's that's where this research comes in. And it, it doesn't have to be difficult. That's one cool thing. We can make it very easy and user friendly. But you've got to be aware. You know, this is 15 years of of work that a lot of people have, have put a lot of effort into. And it quite clearly tells us a different story. And I know you know what I'm talking about, but there's probably people out there that are not aware. And then it's not just me that they can come and listen to, but there's all these other strategies, like you say, that you guys have to offer uh, the chiropractors out there. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful package. So, you know, I mean, you know, if you don't know about this stuff, you should get your butt to this conference because it's going to be a good one. But I'm also going to be there to, you know, tell the doctor of chiropractic that the time is now for the chiropractor to assume their uh, rightful place on top of the health, uh, uh, you know, you know, pyra uh, you know, pyramid, if you will. I mean, basically, the, the chiropractor has to be the go-to person for all things health and wellness. And that's what I want the doctor of chiropractic to achieve. I want them to have the confidence they can do it. I want them to be educated uh, to do it. And I want them, to, once again, to get that out into their community. So uh, I'm not going to be spending a, a lot of time kind of cramming all that heart health knowledge into people. But I want people to know that it is uh, easy for you to obtain that kind of uh, you know, that kind of practice and to get out there with it to teach your people and really to explode the volume of your practice when you let your community know that, you know what, uh, this doctor can help with hypertension, this doctor can help with, with diabetes or thyroid issues, you know, let you be the go-to person in your community. That's what I want the chiropractors to do because the medical doctors aren't doing it, so it's up to the chiros. So what I really want to do with this presentation is I, I have eight considerations. I want to start to get the, the profession thinking again, not just following like sheep, but actually thinking about what they're talking about and what the profession really does. And so we're going to go through these eight considerations and we're going to get them to think about it. And then near the end, I'm going to show how they could take that information and start to apply it to change in their practice and in the profession. Love it. From my perspective, we now have the data, the research, the technology, the understanding of who we really are, which is so much bigger and uh, uh, plays a bigger game than what most of our colleagues think that they are. The key now in the rebranding is learning how to communicate in an effective way where we actually influence how other people think and behave. Yeah, and, and to me, that's what Super Conference is all about. 
yeah, I can't wait to hear Heidi's research. She's amazing. Or Richard Barwell's insight or Dan Sullivan's philosophy and inspiration. But, and there are many other speakers, but the real the real core of this all is taking this data and learning how to package it, how to communicate it in a way that really does influence people so that they choose care for the right reasons for themselves and their family forever. Yeah. And it is, all starts, if, if I can put it into the broad category of dialogue, right? We need to figure out how to have a meaningful dialogue. Correct. With, with our own profession to start with, with other professions and with patients. I, I was just with the Dalai Lama in Ireland for two days, and uh, we were presenting some stuff there, another discussion at another time. And he was talking about how all dialogue, whether it's the Irish Republican Army talking to the British government or, you know, or, you know, chiropractors talking to, uh, you know, straight chiropractors talking to people that want drugs in our profession, all those labels that we use. And he made the comment that, the first thing you have to do is find out the commonality, the humanity, what we have in common with each other. And of course you're sitting there going, yeah, 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 of course that's the answer. And then I started thinking, well, what does that mean to me? Right. And this is what super conference means to me, by the way, people have to confront, great. We have all this information. What am I going to do with it when I get home on Monday? Um, and so I was sitting there going, well, what do I have in common with the guys that want to bring drugs into our profession? And with the exception of a few jerks, which are on both sides of the table. I thought about it and I said, you know what? We all got into chiropractic because we wanted to help people. That is a commonality for all of us. It's true. We have different strategies about how we think we ought to go about doing it. And there are consequences. I'm not saying I need, I'm going to support that issue, but at least I realized that from that base, I have the ability to have a dialogue with people that has to do with best, you know, with patient care. And so we need to figure out what that dialogue is between the chiropractor and our profession and the patient that's in the doctor's office. And to me, that's what you guys do as well as anybody on the planet is teach people how to take this framing we're going to talk about and put it into language and dialogue that will impact a patient and therefore, as an effect, impact the quality of their practice. No doubt. Look, at the end of the day, Everybody wants to see the profession do better, see the profession rebranded, want more people under care. But also on a personal level, every doctor sitting in that audience wants a bigger practice. They want to uh, earn more money. They want better clinical outcomes. And, and deserve it. And deserve it and are capable of it. Yep. And to me, that is exactly what Super Conference 2017 is all about. Um, the lineup of speakers, including you, is just mind boggling. And um, the energy will be great. The information will be great. But more important, people are going to learn how to actually communicate in a way that gets results over and over again. So for those doctors listening to this, watching this, please go to Super Conference, one word, superconference2017.net. Learn more about it. Love you to register. Love you to come and learn with us, rebrand with us, become masterful at communication. Learn all the statistics, the, the research, the information that's out there. Look, relative to the brain, we've, we've learned more about the brain in the last 20 years than we knew all of history up until 20 years ago. Uh, things are exploding, and so much of our profession has failed to adapt. And um, it's time that opinion leaders and leaders, and you're certainly doing this, we need to start to get people to understand that there's a bigger game, an easier game, a more profitable game. And I'm so thrilled that you're going to be part of that guy. I'm Thank sure you've got some parting comments. You know, well, um, I was just thinking of a quote I saw recently that said, um, uh, the devil whispered in my ear, you're not strong enough to withstand the storm. Uh, today, I whispered in the devil's ear, I am the storm. <laughs> Great. So, you know, I think hopefully, and I, I know this is true of the super conference, when people walk out the door, they will be able absolutely to whisper back to the devil, I am the storm. So uh, I'm look, looking forward to being part of that process. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to hear your presentation. And I hope the people watching this will be there as well. Thank you, Dr. Reekman. Thanks, Bob.